Hello world and welcome back to Stuff We Do, where we do all the knife stuff you love. Knife reviews, knife tests, knife modifications and outdoor stuff with knives. Today we are looking at QSP again, specifically the Penguin. Okay, this is the one everybody knows and loves, the QSP Penguin in Denimicarta. Now this one of mine is pretty much unused. Okay, um, I've carried it for a, whip, for a bit and... Then I put it away because I got a new one or not a new one, but I got another one. I got the brass one. Okay. This brass one has been through so many changes. Um, okay. Before we get to that, why am I talking about QSP again? Why am I talking about penguins again? Because I ordered myself the mother of all QSP penguins and I cannot wait for it to arrive. And then I will show you. Okay. But so, yes, I've, been thinking about penguin skin anyway um you can see the brass over here it did patina i thought it would not change at all because it was blackened like this um but it did change and then i what do you call that copper the part of the blade i etched lines into the blade i darkened the blade because i initially took the one with that blade Anyway, so I did a lot of changes to it. Now today, we're changing it again. Okay, let's braai. I think we're doing hamburgers again today. I have a penguin in a bath. Taking one of these things apart is like torture. I'm hiding the blade from you because I'm doing things to it. Okay, the fire is almost ready for the burgers. And a tip, if you have a knife and you're struggling because the standoffs are spinning and the screws are still stuck, these things at the top, thin enough to fit inside and holds on like machine. And they're quite uh, inexpensive. Okay, I'm back. Um, and I'm done. Getting these things apart and putting them back together is insane. The first time I wanted to swap out the black for the black over there, and put the silver in the air, um, yeah, and then halfway through it, I, yeah, stopped, because I stripped, like, one or two of my cheap Torx thingies, so I had to buy better Torx things, whatever, eventually they're back the way they used to be, but now this guy, okay, so I changed the blade shape, and I took off the copper, and I made it lighter again, okay, and I'm going to leave it, because it is D2, um, and if you cut meat specifically and you don't wipe the blade, then it, well, you can patina it, uh, pretty much a forced patina without forcing it. Get what I'm saying? Anyway, so I'm going to let that happen now on its own. But this is the blade shape that I have ended up with. You can see it's still the same length, but I, it's got two little humps in there now. Okay, and it's got this, can you see that? Like a little swedge at the top, then a little crowned piece, and then the straight. I just left the top parts with the, what do you call that, the darker look. These ones, I, I didn't sand them. I just, on a scotch bright wheel, just buffed off all the coppery bits. Gave it some highlights. And I think this thing is super. Okay, so I'm going to let it rust on its own. Um... Like I said, getting these things together is a mission. But I do, well, I must say, I like the new profile. Not that I'm into stabbing things, but it is quite nice if you have the ability to pierce a bit more. So I made my sheep's foot a modified Warncliffe sheep's foot, I suppose. Whatever you want to call that. Okay, now I'm going to dry hamburger patties. Okay, today we are doing Drakensberg burgers amidst the Woolworths Thick Cut bad boys. Um, and I quite like them. And then I get to use my favorite tool again. Because um, I've never tried with things like that here in South Africa. And then I can open my package with my sharp nose penguin. Mmm, delicious. Dee -dee 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 Tit 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 Done
If you did not see me, Brian, but get a buddy, or if you skipped that, it's fine. Stay safe, happy, and have a good one. Goodbye.